Hello everyone. Today is a quick video about how I am fixing my raised bed. It has some drainage issues which I noticed last year. Today we'll be emptying one of my raised bed which has this problem and check what is happening at the bottom. So let us fix it. There are some bulbs like tulips, hyacinths and also some lettuce grown from last fall already growing in this bed. At first we'll move these bulbs to the ground. I'm really not sure if these bulbs will survive after the transplant but let's try it out. So I'm moving these bulbs to the flower bed. The issue is with the tall raised bed. As you can see there is very less water retention for the soil in this bed. This might also be the reason why the tulips in this bed are drying up. Even though there was enough rain during the fall, winter and spring, the soil doesn't hold any moisture. Mainly because the water just drains out from the bottom through many gaps. So that is done. The raised beds do not have anything growing on them. Next step would be the most tedious task of the day which is emptying the raised bed. Let's move all the soil to several containers. We are almost at the end of the process. I was already tired after this, lost all motivation and wanted to give up midway. Does that happen to you? I took a break in between and got back to work. First let us find where the water is leaking. I have given a gap in the middle of the bed for the actual drainage. Apart from that, the water is actually leaking from the edges and corners. It is finding its way out through the gaps between these layers. Let's fix it by adding more layers with the raised bed liner that is left. We tested it again. Now it is better. There is less dripping from the bottom. Let's close the rest of the gaps too. It seems to be fixed now. The water is at least staying in the bed. So we are done now. I'm going to fill the raised bed again with the soil. For that, the first layer would be a layer of wood chips. On top of that, I'm layering the soil. Since the soil is dry, I'm also using organic matter like pruned leaves from the garden. I'm also adding half ton bokashi to the bed for more water retention and better microbial activity in the bed. Then we layer again with the soil. We are done with the big raised bed. Out goes the big one and in comes the smaller one. This one does not have any drainage issues. The water retention is also good. But one of the wheel of this raised bed is broken so we fix that. The last and most important step is to mulch the soil and not let the soil dry out again. So I am layering a thick layer of wood chips for this purpose. Water the raised beds well and now they are ready for use. They will be planted with summer crops next month.
I sowed some carrot seeds right in the middle of one of the raised beds. You might also be interested in how I made these raised beds and how to fill them. You can check out my videos on that. Links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next. Bye and take care.